Good evening. Thank you to each and every one of you for being here with us this wonderful evening. We are really pleased to be welcome to every one of you in our segment ICD Talk. This evening, we have Mr. Samir Maske, uh, who is an AI expert and founder of Feud Machine. And he was also awarded by Nepali Diaspora ICT Award 2019. So welcome, sir, in our segment ICD Talk. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. So actually, we have some questioners that needs to be interrogated to you. So shall I start, sir? Sure. So with the first questions, Fuse Machines, which has been uh, providing the leading artificial intelligence AI services across the country, launch a workshop. So can you tell us something about the workshop? Uh, yes. So uh, we launched uh, AI 6 year for Nepal uh, initiative about two years ago in the AI Expo that was organized. Um, and the main motivation and the idea of um, AI 6 year for Nepal is to bring very high quality AI education in all corners of Nepal and particularly on, in underserved communities uh, within Nepal. And since then, uh, we have taught hundreds and hundreds of uh, students um, in AI, AI and various other topics within AI. Uh, we run our own AI schools and we've been working with partnering schools and colleges to teach AI at various levels. But it has mostly been focused uh, for students who already are from IT computer science background. Uh, they may be a BE student, BSc student, BSc IT student, um, uh, basically engineering and uh, IT students um, and has not been really accessible for non-engineering students and professionals. Uh, so keeping uh, the trend of trying to educate as many uh, Nepalese in AI as possible and continuing the next phase of AI 6 in Nepal, we are launching um, this these courses, set of courses for non-engineering and non-IT students as well. And one of the first course in this series is what we call AI to go workshop uh, for uh, non computer science, uh, non IT professionals. Uh, it's a sh it's a short course to start with, uh, four to six weeks, um, and you do not need a programming background. We will be teaching uh, the basics of uh, AI and all the needed programming that you need to learn in a very short amount of time. It's not that after six weeks, you become an expert of AI or anything, but after six weeks, you will have a very good understanding of what AI is and how to apply for your business. So that's in summary, uh, the, the AI to go workshop. And it's one of the first course in the series of courses that we will be providing in Nepal. Uh, we have learned that uh, the company's mission is to de democratize artificial intelligence. And how is that mission coming up? Uh, yeah, so our, our mission is uh, democratizing AI. Uh, and uh, what that means for us is democratizing AI by providing AI education and AI jobs. Um, and we do believe if we are able to provide high quality AI education and correspondingly uh, high quality AI jobs in underserved communities and developing world like Nepal, it could be it could reduce poverty in many communities and so forth, right? But I mean, we could fight poverty with it. Uh, the, the overall mission of democratizing AI, we've been at it for many years at this point. And if we were to look at the metrics related to AI education and AI jobs, uh, we've, been, uh, we've been able to impact many lives, uh, both in AI education and AI jobs. We have been able to train uh, hundreds and hundreds of students in AI, in AI uh, where they got, you know, various certifications and micro degree. And many of, the, many of them, we have hired them internally uh, at Fuse Machines, uh, improving their lives. And also there are quite a few graduates whom we haven't hired, but they have gone on to, uh, you know, become uh, AI uh, managers uh, in other companies in Nepal, uh, or they started their other companies AI companies themselves, and we've been doing this in Nepal, in Dominican Republic, and some other countries, and we've seen this happen across all of all of the countries that we are working on, uh, and it is very satisfying to see that uh, we are able to fulfill in the journey of this uh, democratizing AI mission, uh, and we foresee being able to provide education to even more people and 
uh, AI jobs to even more people, uh, having a bigger and bigger impact uh, with the democratizing AI mission. How has Fuse Machines helped in efficiently reducing the gap between academia and the industry in Nepal? A lot of times, uh, the academic uh, curriculum takes time to get updated. Uh, academic curriculum tends to be more theory driven uh, at times, um, <clears throat> though there are obviously a uh, ton of practical uh, courses that gets covered. Um, we are providing the extra set of uh, more practical uh, courses uh, and exercises and projects that the students end up learning that is you know, quickly applicable in the industry setting environment, in the business environment. Uh, so uh, a student is able to learn through a lot of exercises uh, where they are actually doing homework, where homework is tied to a real world example, for example. And doing so uh, across many different topics uh, in, a, in a course, they become much more ready uh, to be able to start a job and providing value by creating things that are applicable for a given product in the industry. Uh, and that's how we've been doing it. Thanks so much, sir. And uh, one last question. So what would you say are the common misconceptions about AI? Uh, one, of the, one of the very common misconceptions uh, is people think that, you know, it's, it can do everything. Um, it cannot do everything. Uh, it is still quite limited on what it can do. It is improving, uh, but you know you still cannot even sit down with an AI system and have an hour-long conversation like this, right? You can ask questions to your Google phone or uh, iOS phone, uh, but you know there's no AI system that can sit right now and do an interview like this, for example, and do this back and forth conversations. Uh, understand uh, a topic in length such that it would be able to have philosophical discussion on any given topic. Even though we are, and even though we are starting to see a trend towards that, but it's still nowhere close to that. Um, it AI systems can do everything, right? So that's one misconception. Other is, I think some people uh, are already too scared that it will take over the world, and you know, Terminator will happen, and and so forth. I would say, at least personally, I mean, different researchers, scientists, professors might think it bit differently. At least I would say it's not happening anytime soon. You don't have to worry about robots taking over right now. So that's all for today, for this segment, sir. Thank you so much for your wonderful time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me and thank you for your time.